Welcome to another adventure. This is going to be a new cemetery for me and a new cemetery for you. I've brought you to the Charleston Cemetery. Now the Charlton Cemetery is in the Adelaide Hills, not far from Loba Fall and Woodside. And I found this cemetery. A bit of detouring to get here. So come on guys, let's check out this new cemetery. Charlton. Hello to all the spirits here in the Charlton Cemetery. My name is Jackie. I'm in mean, no disrespect. I come in the utmost respect. And when I leave here, you cannot follow me home. And I do not give you permission. Now, this looks a little bit like snaky territory. It's a beautiful 27 degrees today. And we're going to have to keep our eye out for Mr. Snakey. And look, a bone already. A bone, a bone. So let's investigate the Charleston Cemetery. Which way should we start? We'll start this way. Yeah, we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for Mr. Snakey in here, guys. Because it's that type of weather now. It is summer. And so Mr. Snakey will be out. And so would the flies. And who do we have here? We have Mary Ann Ayres. Died in 1891. 28 years old. May you rest in peace. Beautiful little spot here coming through Cuddly Creek and being detoured to go through the countryside to get here. So I miss Labour Fall altogether. doing roadworks there's a few old ones here I've never been here and this is Sarah Green died in 1890 hello is there anyone who'd like to speak with me my name is Jackie but yeah definitely have to watch out for our Mr. Snakey Alice Headland, uh, 1882, and Annie, who was only four months old. May they rest in peace. There's probably a few around. But yeah, this is definitely snakies. Definitely. Is there anyone who wants to come through? You can. You can speak to me. But you must remember when I leave here, you cannot follow me home. Gustav and Ida, may you rest in peace. Thought I'll get out. Seeing it's such a beautiful day. I should really buy snake guards for my legs, guys. This is a beautiful country um, cemetery, as you can see, surrounded by bushland and slightly off the beaten track, just a bit. Okay. Probably want S box in here because it's really close to houses, guys, and I mean really close. Here we have Richard, died in 1879. Elizabeth Anderson, 1895, and Thomas. Only a little tiny headstone. 1916. Helen Dotsley and Bill. Now 
Yeah, real typical little country. Probably got eyes staring at me. <laughs> and they're not spirit eyes either. They'll be humans. You're thinking, what am I doing here? Any spirits here? Oh, it's not a looked after cemetery, I can tell you that right now. Look at this one up near the door. Sorry if I'm stepping on anyone. I'm watching out for snakes in here. Oh. A crumbling couple there by the looks of it. Is there anyone here in the cemetery? Wants to speak. What are you guys getting from this cemetery? It's a bit on the creepy side. Slight wind. That one's a nice one. That's George. Died in 1897. Oh, here's some old ones along here. Excuse me, I'll come over. And this is Elizabeth Dunn, 1875, and William, 1879. Yeah, it's really closest to house. Houses. George Dunn. And Eliza. We have here George Maxwell. Mary Elizabeth Dunn. That oh, was only two. And Douglas, who was ten. That kind of creepy in here. Yeah. The old ones are at the back there by the looks. Here we have James Newman, um, Jane, sorry, 1878, who was 50. Mabel, child, who was four, 1875. And their infant son, Newman, died in 1878 and he was six months old. Anyone who wants to come through, I probably won't spirit box in here, guys. It's way too close to houses. We'll just walk around this one, I reckon. George Bill died in 1879. Now you rest in peace and Grace. Oh, husband of Grace, sorry. William Keane. My name's Jackie. Is anyone who wants to speak, you can. We've got their ash, ashes wall. Oh, that was mine. I went down. I didn't see that drop and I nearly twisted my ankle. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> nearly twisted the ankle. Yeah, I think I might have to invest in snake guards now it's coming into summer, guys. I don't want my legs to get bitten. Don't want to get bitten. Oh, that hurt. And I've got a 40 minute drive to get home. I hope it doesn't stay hurt too long. Oh, more bones. More bones. God, this ground looks like it would be pretty hard to friggin' dig. Here we have here Mary Ann, Mary Ann Brooke. 1866, she was 14. At the back here. Oh, that hurt. I'm watching out for snakes. Charlotte is buried within these grounds of this cemetery. I don't know exactly where she's buried. Henry. See the date or anything, guys. 
come off. Sorry, I'm trying to stand on anyone. William. Don't want to wake the doggy up. This is getting 57. 58. 69 year old children, guys. Oh, disturbed the doggies. Charles Dunn, 1881, and Mary, 1882. I've disturbed the doggies. Oh, oh, I've disturbed the neighbor's doggies. Stay away from the fence. But yeah. That's pretty well it from the Charleston Cemetery. I don't want to disturb the doggies too much. So what did you think of this cemetery, guys? A little country cemetery. Feel a little bit unease, but yeah, don't want to disturb the little doggies. Someone will come out and ask, say, "What are you doing?" We'll walk over here. Looks like it could have been some here. So yeah. Oh, probably stepping on one. Sorry if I'm stepping on anyone. All right, guys. I'm going to go on to another cemetery. I'm going to head into Mount Torrens. So thank you for watching. Thank you for coming for a little walk around the Charleston Cemetery. New one for me and a new one for you, my little ghost leash. So until next time, guys, please be safe when you're out exploring. And so until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye.